come to you live from sunny Southern California. I'm at Cohen with Jay Williams here at Staples Center, the house that Jerry built. Jerry Buss or Jerry West? One's a logo, but both Jay are legends. The opening tip corralled by the Lakers, and we're underway in downtown Los Angeles. To James. Schroeder goes to the left side. To James. Dennis Schroeder, his first effort off the mark. Dinwiddie with the basketball, looking to make something happen. Short jumper stays out. Ooh, I can't believe he didn't get that one to fall. But at the end of the day, he got an open look, and that bodes well for this team. Schroeder to Caldwell Pope. Davis to Schroeder. Caldwell Pope. Good offense, beating good defense. Kentavious Caldwell Pope with the basket. I don't know how he saw his man out in the cut like that. That was nice. Marcus Gasol with the block. Jesse racing mistakes left and right. To Schroeder. Here's a chance from long range. Not getting the bounce. Dinwiddie into the front court. They're down three. Gets to the basket and scores. I love the drive to the basket there. Instead of trying to go around or over, go through. Here's Schroeder with it. He'll run the offense to James. Curling inside. James gets it in the left corner. Miles Turner sends it away. Calls out of bounds. Last touch by Miles Turner. Jay, Magic and Kobe each won five titles. How are you going to judge LeBron James' legacy in L.A.? <laughs> LeBron James wins one championship in L.A. That means he will set himself apart. He will have won four championships in three different cities. Now, that is polarizing for some fans. That still does not take away from the overall greatness and the legacy of LeBron James. It's James controlling the offense to Davis. Takes stock of the floor. James, he made his first effort, but not that time. Here's Durant for two. Ah, Kevin Durant. First couple didn't go. That one is true. Always good to see Nick Young, a.k.a. Swaggy P, back home here in L.A. He was a star at Cleveland High School and also at USC and frequently drops buckets down on people at the Drew League. Davis to Caldwell Pope. Schroeder to James. Caldwell Pope. He made his first effort, but not that time. Durant to Dinwiddie. Anthony oh. knocked away. It's getting dangerous down there. And I hated getting my shot blocked like that, but I did like getting the ball right back. LBJ, great look and vision. Oh, he sent that one to the third row. He was locked in. That was impressive. Kyrie Irving for two. Deep two there. Won't go to Schroeder. Davis to James. Schroeder, deep right corner to Davis. Schroeder, curving the rebound. Miles Turner slams it down. So many people think making assist is creating something razzle and dazzle. Sometimes giving the ball up early is the right play and the most efficient. LeBron into the front court. 
down just a couple to Caldwell Pope. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Buries it on the catch and shoot. And here's the setup, Ed, down the stretch. From a player who's been in these type of positions, eventually I'm going to hit you with a head fake, and you're going to have to jump considering I just made the last couple of threes. And that's when I find an easy way to get to the rim or force the defense to collapse the kick out for to James. In the slam. Jay, they've had no answer for this guy. He's been on fire this first quarter. That's the way you take it right to your opponent. You attack right out of the game. Kyrie with the rock. Kyrie Irving, 2 of 4 now. In the paint, you need to finish just like that. Schroeder with the basketball. Leads just a point. To Davis. Dennis Schroeder. His first quarter struggles from deep continue. It's no good. Irving to Durant from long range. That's a dangerous spot. Kevin Durant wide open. He nails it. How do you neutralize a threat like Kevin Durant? Well, that weak side defender constantly has to shade Kevin Durant and that primary defender. You have to funnel KD into help every single possession, contest shots, and hope that you can deter his vision and that he misses. Dinwiddie with the basketball. Lead is two. Durant gets it to go. Coach cannot be happy with that closeout. This is a game of ways. As a defense, you have to recognize that they come and they go. That will not be the case all the time moving forward. To Davis. It's James. That's how you defend. Dinwiddie into the front court. Up five. That's toughness right there. Physical inside, gets it to go. It can only be one of two things here. One, the defender ran out of gas. Or two, this dude is just unstoppable. Both teams tweaking their lineups. Here come some changes. James to Davis. James, textbook defense. And look, sometimes you don't have it going every single night. Maybe utilize yourself as a decoy and get some teammates involved with your passing. Count it. That boy's living his best life. LeBron into the front court. Nine point margin. Over to the right side. To Caldwell Pope. Fires the three. Knocks it down and the foul. And a chance now at a four point play. It never would have been a foul if you didn't give him space. Your job defensively is to stay attached to him at all times. Force him to put the ball on the ground and drive and make a shot over the trees below. Contavious Caldwell Pope with a chance at a four-point play for his career, 78% at the line. And he converts on the free throw. 
Jay Williams, kid from Jersey, rooted for the Nets growing up. And where do you live now? Brooklyn. Of course, I'm following my favorite team, and these comments are probably going to sound biased because they are. But Brooklyn is a completely different place. Only five minutes outside Manhattan. It almost feels like a suburb of the city. And the fact that it's culturally relevant, it just feels like Brooklyn is the new place to be. James to Davis. Fires the three. Can't get the bounce. Here's Irving into the front court. His team up by seven. Kyrie Irving. He's now four for six. Can we all just agree that that handle is next level? But that jumper is wet too. Mm. It's James controlling the offense. Davis. To James. Beyond the arc for three. That's off the side of the rim. No good. Shoot or shoot. Period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. Now across the timeline comes James. His team down nine. To Davis. 4-3. Not that time. Now ready with a couple of free throws. You see this all the time. The defensive players establishing his presence on the court and also checking to see how far the refs are going to let him go. Karis LeVert at the line for two shots. 71% for his career. First free throw is good. Goes two for two at the line. Los Angeles, they have it. I got blocked. To Caldwell Pope. Kuzma to Caldwell Pope. Zach Collins sends it away. Sent a message on that one, Ed. Caldwell Pope, deep left corner. Kyle Kuzma pulls up for two. That was a tough shot. The guy was in your pocket. He even contested the shot. Everything was going according to plan until then. Durant with the basketball up top. The lead stands at nine. Irving. He was all over him. Just because you're an elite shooter doesn't mean you need to shoot the ball every possession. Maybe give a head fake, crack into the defender, get to the free throw line, see the ball go in the hole. Let's it fly from long range, and the rebound comes down to Collins. Kyrie across the timeline. It's a nine point lead. Kyrie Irving. With that, he's five for nine. Jay, you've known Kyrie Irving since he was a young man growing up in New Jersey. He's overcome a lot of obstacles, chief among them, staying healthy and on the floor. Yeah, Ed, he's been battling injuries since his freshman year of college, but the beautiful thing about Kyrie Irving is that he always loves the big stage. Making the game-winning shot in game seven, he will continue to do so when he surrounds himself with great, inspiring leaders with the likes of such Kobe Bryant. Kuzma to Caldwell Pope, going to launch beyond the arc. Oh, he couldn't get it to go. Ah, the monster stuff. They have set the tone in this one. I love when I see offenses come out in beast mode. You attack that paint, you get to the rim, inevitably the floor will open up for you to knock down some threes. To Caldwell Pope. Kuzma. They've slowed down the pace. Now three on the shot clock. Kyle Kuzma. Kyle Kuzma is going to get a chance at three here. A career 70% free throw shooter. Oops. He missed the first one. Second one's no good. One more coming. For the Brooklyn Nets, number 54, Patrick Patterson. Serving in for the Los Angeles Lakers, number 40, Wesley Matthews. Missed the third one. 0 for 3 on this trip. Into the front court, it's Irving. 
The lead is 11. Jumper's good. Simply put, when the ball's in Kyrie Irving's hands, magic could happen. It's poetry in motion, and it's a situation in which the ball is attached to his body. He has it on a yo-yo. He can put the ball and dangle the ball out there for other people to think they have a chance, and in their mind they do, but in Kyrie's mind, the game is over. The ball in the hands of Kyrie Irving. To Durant. Montrez Harrell snatching it out of the air. Just incredible timing on that swat. Montrez Harrell with a piece. Don't stare him down like that afterwards. Montrez Harrell able to recover with the block. 24 second violation. To Matthews. For three, that's rebounded by the Nets. Durant across the timeline. It's an 11-point game. A drive to the basket, but the shot won't go down. Goes to the left side. Kuzma. To Matthews. Kuzma gets it in the right corner. Caldwell Pope. That's off the side of the rim, short. The follow won't go either. Woo, I like that intensity on that play. That's how you actually dig in the dirt and do your job on the defensive end. Calls out of bounds. Last touch by Kyle Kuzma. Time to shuffle things up. Durant had made his first couple, but he misses there. To Caldwell Pope. Gentavious Caldwell Pope. With that shot, he's five for eight. Another possession, they were forced to take a tough shot. This time, they got it to go, but they need to do something different to start creating more open look opportunities. From the outside, no good. And a bad pass as it's taken away by the Nets. That misses with three seconds left. That ends the first quarter. The Nets have the lead. Ed Cohen, Jay Williams with you as we get things started here in the second quarter. Nets have the basketball. To Dinwiddie. To Danny Green. Here's a chance from long range. Danny Green can't get that one to go. Defense all over him. Matthews. Zach Collins uh, tips it. Blocking so many shots only gives your perimeter that much more confidence to really apply more pressure. Schroeder to James. Off the assist. And when the ball gets the defense rotating from side to side, you're bound to find opportunities for each other. Dinwiddie with the basketball. Lead stance at seven. Driving right to the basket. Kyle Kuzma swats it. You know why? I don't see anybody on the defensive end standing up out of position. I see everybody squatted down, really active with their hands. That's the mentality that will lead you to where you want to go. To Schroeder. James 
Great defense, forcing the miss. Great contest by the D, but I want to see the coaching staff call the same exact play the next possession. Get that offensive player the ball. Let him prove that it wasn't the D. It was more in his own head. Lakers ball. James to Matthews. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. And Wesley Matthews buries the three with a hand in his face. Ed, let me tell you how this one goes. It ain't no fun if the homies can't have some. Everyone's getting a piece of the rock tonight. Oh, straight down the middle for two. No doubt about where that one was headed. Across midcourt, it's Schroeder. Margins eight. Kuzma to Schroeder. Miles Turner rejects it. This game is all about playing mind tricks on people. The offense is more worried about getting their shot blocked than they are about actually making the shot. Kuzma, tough shot, he hits. Well, the defense has been good, but the shot-making ability has been better. And sometimes for NBA players at this level, the more you're in their face, the more it helps them center their focus on the target, which is making a shot. I know it sounds weird, but trust me, it's a real thing, Ed. Here comes the screen. The Nets now with four to shoot. 24 second violation. Schroeder to Kyle Kuzma. Matthews knocks it down and the foul. He's going to the line for a chance at a four-point play. The most important part for the offensive player is to create space. If you can create space, you can find your rhythm, and that's what we saw. Wesley Matthews with a chance at a four-point play for his career, 82%. And he knocks it down at the line. Brooklyn's got it. He's going to the free throw line to shoot. I don't know about that one, Ed. I always thought your hand was part of the ball. Kevin Durant, a couple of free throws on the way. Career 88% from the line. First try at the line, no good. Good recovery, hits the second free throw. Here's Schroeder with it. Down two. Oh, pass stolen by the Nets. That's called game plan execution to perfection. Every possession on the road is critical. Nice pace, sets it up, and slams it down. I mean, defense, is it that easy? Can I see some reaction after somebody gets an easy dunk? Some yelling, some kind of emotion? I need you to get involved back in this ballgame. Kuzma to Schroeder. to Kyle Kuzma from long range. Good contest, made it tough for Kuzma. Irving into the front court, leads four. Finishing inside the paint on that one. Sometimes you hear people give all these fancy breakdowns, tell you all these different things they can do. That was just plain old simple bully basketball. Muscled his way through the lane. Schroeder. Miles Turner, huge block. Oh, he blocked that with authority. 
Marc Gasol. He's finally on the board. Makes his first shot. Finish. That's what close of contact focusing on the rim. Kevin Durant has it. To Turner. Durant. Nice pass to set things up. You normally don't see that, but that's the type of thing that keeps shooters in the league for a long time. Every once in a while, they venture into the paint. Schroeder with the basketball. Down six to Kyle Kuzma. Schroeder to the first points for him in this first half, and he knocks it down for three. Yeah, they really need him to get going. Really surprised that none of his teammates have been talking to him. This is when he needs him the most. They have to uplift him, help him continue to be confident on the court. Shot from the lane, won't go. Dinwiddie into the front court, up by three. Great pass to set it up. Oh, Miles Turner, three for three in this first half. Ed, I remember this in so much detail. I was watching the NBA pre-draft camp and I saw Miles Turner run, and myself and all the scouts, everybody was like, whoa, wait a second, what is that? But I give the pay. They had a trainer that worked with his gait, and now that's exactly who he is. A big that can run down, block shots, and be active on the perimeter defensively. Knocks down the first. Knocks down the second free throw. Perfect from the line. Hits all three of them. Irving brings the ball up court. The pass taken away by the Lakers. And a nice finish at the rim. Because in certain players' mind, it doesn't matter if they're amongst the trees or not. They're always going to be the giant in the paint. Irving with the basketball. Looking to make something happen. And scores on the Euro step. You see, you can't actually get mesmerized by the ball. You actually have to focus on the dribbler's belly button. I know that may sound cheesy, but trust me, he can't go anywhere without his court. Across midcourt, it's Schroeder. Down just a couple. Gets it in the left corner. Matthews. Fires the three, buries it on the catch and shoot. And I don't know why the defense continues to help on guys that drive. Make them take shots over your bigs. By you helping more, you're just leaving three-point shooters open on the perimeter. Irving to Dinwiddie. Here comes the screen. Durant here against Morris. Now to Jordan, down low. DeAndre Jordan, look out. I mean, with so much talk these days about three-point shooting and the spacing on the court and having versatile athletic wings, sometimes when you have a dominant big man, you keep giving him the ball. You let him be that anomaly. To Matthews. James, and a bad pass as it's taken away by the Nets. Wesley Matthews with the block. Just erasing mistakes left and right. To James. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. And I love the smile on the face of the offensive player. Sometimes luck is on your side. I don't know how that shot went in, but and one. LeBron James trying to cash in on the three-point play for his career, 73%. Free throw up and good. Gives him a two-point lead. Dinwiddie with the basketball. He'll run the offense. 
Layup's good. Those are the types of shots you always strive for. When one player goes down, or maybe in this case, two, it gives a player an opportunity to really rise to the occasion. Well, that happened last year with Spencer Dimwitty. When Jeremy Lin and D'Angelo Russell both went down to injury, this kid went from a D-League player to a starter in the NBA and one of the most clutch players we had for the Brooklyn Nets this past year. Durant to Jordan. And finishes strong. Well, when you play for each other and not just for yourself, that's when great things happen. You essentially lose yourself in what the team is trying to accomplish. It's called unselfish basketball. And there's nothing more beautiful than rewarding your teammate with a nice pass and letting them finish for two or three points. Fires the three and drills it. Jay, spacing can be a beautiful thing. Defense, do the math. You force them to take tough twos, you'll probably have a better chance to win this game if you can slow down the pace. Oh, great defense there, forcing the pickup. It was right there. Grabs his own miss and scores. Good concentration. Attack mode isn't a switch that you can just turn on and off. He needs to do more of that. We need to see him penetrate, get into that lane, and create. To James. To Matthews. Five to shoot for Los Angeles. Beyond the arc for three. That won't go. Durant with the basketball up top. His team up by one. DeAndre Jordan sends it away. Don't stare him down like that afterwards. KD with the rock. To Irving. To Durant. It's rebounded by Gasol. Matthews. To James. 4-3. Oh, LeBron James. Not much more the defense could have done. He hits the contested three. And it just seems like the defense has lethargic closeouts. You need to close out with more of a sense of urgency. Run them off the three-point line. Make them take a tough two rather than an easy three. Oh, pass stolen by the Nets. From the painted area, won't go down to Matthews. To James. Let's it fly from long range. Well defended. Just because you're an elite shooter doesn't mean you need to shoot the ball every possession. Maybe give a head fake, crack into the defender, get to the free throw line, see the ball go in the hole. Stops it down with authority. Jay, what makes LeBron so special on the offensive end? Well, first and foremost, look at that frame. 6'9", 265 pounds with the agilities of a guard. He can blow by you. If he dips that shoulder, there's no way. There is nobody in the NBA that can guard that man one-on-one. -on -one. Irving to Durant. Going to launch beyond the arc. Tough shot. Well defended. Shoot or shoot. Period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. The assist from number eight. Kevin Durant with the rock. To Turner. Rebounded by the Lakers. To James. And the rebound comes down to Jordan. Dinwiddie into the front court. Now down six. Not done yet. Cleans it up. Nice touch around the basket with the tip. And sometimes less is more. Keeping it simple is the best way.
Andre Jordan pins it. Long key from three quarters court. Time expires to end the first half. The Lakers have the lead. Halftime report. The Lakers are in a tight battle after two quarters. Clearly, the number of three pointers these guys scored in the first half was incredible. And if they can keep that up, it's going to be tough to keep that team down. Have a look at the leading scores for the Los Angeles Lakers. Have a look at the leading scores for the Brooklyn Nets. Game track. Blocks. Let's get to the point. We all know that first half of basketball was all about the block shots. Plays like that are all about timing and effort, as you can see in these highlights. There's some great athleticism being shown off as well. Player of the half. LeBron James and his court IQ were on display as he delivered the ball, putting his teammates in a position to score the basketball. His timing was impeccable. Who was cold? Every player that makes it to the NBA is a great athlete. But even the best players have off nights. Today has just been one of those nights for this guy. Here we go with the top three plays from the first half. Number two. I'm sending it back to Ed and Jay to bring you the rest of the game.
Here's Irving into the front court. His guys trail now by four. Marcus Gasol sends it away. That's his third block this evening. And he throws it down. Power play by DeAndre Jordan. Jay, let's see if that's a sign for him. Well, he's been pretty much non-existent the first three quarters. But when you have a play like that, that can get the juices going, and that can help you with your offensive rhythm. Matthews. For three, it's good. And he's not done. He's going to the line for a chance at a four-point play. The defender cannot be caught with his hand staying in the cookie jar. What I mean, contesting that pocket. You have to keep that hand going in and out, going in and out. Keep the offensive player thinking about where your hands are at all times. Wesley Matthews with a chance at a four-point play. Hasn't missed yet. Got it at the line. Kyrie across the timeline. The deficit is six. To Dinwiddie. Here comes the screen. Dinwiddie against Markeith Morris. For Durant, down low. It's a big finish. This type of game needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them giving each other high fives, that's because of the energy that was created from the pass. Pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game. Dinwiddie with the basketball, trailing by four. Durant here against Morris. Oh, he was smothered and still gets it to go down. Have we ever seen anyone like KD? Easy answer, no. He's the greatest offensive threat we've ever seen in the game. He has a 7-5 wingspan, and he's doing things that Russell Westbrook does with the ball. We've never seen it before. Here's a chance from long range to Irving. Durant, guarded by Morris. To Irving. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Yes! Three-pointer is good. And in today's game, you have to make shots like that. Nice work draining it from deep. Lakers at the controls right now. To Caldwell Pope. Just enough of a head fake to help on that one. <laughs> the okie doke. Let's see if he'll try that one again. Into the front court, it's Irving. His guy's now down by a point. Here's Durant for two. Knocks it down from mid-range. You see the savvy players? They can create contact. They can throw their arms into you, even their bodies into you. And as soon as the refs blow the whistle once or twice and you become hesitant defensively, they got you right where they want it. Irving into the front court. His guy's now trailing by a point. And count the basket inside. Kevin Durant, dynamic once again. And giving it to you any way you want it. On the block, from the perimeter, mouse in the house, whatever the scenario is, Kevin Durant has an answer. To Matthews. Caldwell Pope. To Matthews from long range. It's good. And the foul. And he's going to the line for a chance at a four-point play. And body control is everything, especially on the defensive side of the floor. That was a great contest up top, but your body hit him on the way down. That's a foul every time. Wesley Matthews with a chance at a four-point play. He's perfect from the line so far. It's good. Has the hot hand and a four-point play. Kyrie Irving controlling the offense. To Durant. And the Lakers able to grab the rebound. Here's Schroeder with it. Up by three. 
to Matthews. James. To Davis. Fires the three. The Nets have the rebound. Irving with the basketball. Looking to make something happen. Shot won't go. You know, Ed, everybody gives so much credit to the guy who contested the shot, but there's no way he's in that position without the communication of the backbone of the defense. When you have a guy back there who can block shots and tells you to apply more pressure, you know you're in a safe place. Davis, they work it down to Gasol. And watch him do the rest. Slam dunk. I don't think I could do that on the five-foot rim. I can, because that's my only choice. <laughs> Short jumper off the mark. That's how you do it. You keep riding him to the basket, and if the refs aren't calling it, keep being physical. Keep knocking him off balance. Davis to Matthews. Fires the three, and he's fouled. Good play by the shooter. You know what? That's an even better play by the defender. I like the foul there. Send a message. Nothing easy. He's going to have to earn it now. First one goes down. It's a second. One more coming. Let's go, boy. Catch me out. Off the mark, two for three on this trip. This match, this match. Yes, and the foul, and a chance at three coming up. People become so fixated on the hands or the arms or the strengths of the arms. I look at the legs, the strength of his legs help him power through that play. That's how you get and ones. Kyrie Irving at the line for a chance at a three-point play. A career 87% from the line. Unable to connect on the free throw. To Caldwell Pope. Matthews goes to the right side. To James. Matthews. Rare miss the way he's been shooting. Shot's no good. Great contest by the D, but I want to see the coaching staff call the same exact play the next possession. Get that offensive player the ball. Let him prove that it wasn't the D. It was more in his own head. Schroeder with the basketball. Leads five. The pass set it all up. Who compares to AD offensively? We would be doing a disservice if we compared AD just to one player. He's an amalgamation. Think about Tim Duncan, Kevin Garnett, Marcus Camby. Throw them all into a blender, you get Anthony Davis. Kyrie, and the Lakers clear to Schroeder, 
Yes, and a foul. Hell of a chance at a three-point play. Oh, he should get some kind of acting award. That's a great sell by the offensive player. But guess what? The ref's bent, and that's the game. Dennis Schroeder trying to cash in on a three-point play, shooting 66% in this contest. The free throw, good. Cashes in on the three-point play. The lead now stands at 10. Brooklyn with the basketball. Probing the defense. Tight space with the crossover and a whistle. Welcome to new age basketball. You blow on me, that's a foul. The opposing coach is going to counter, make some changes of his own. Irving. And the rebound taken down by the Lakers to James. Davis. Dennis Schroeder buries it on the catch and shoot. And they're relentless with these long shots. It just seems like their spacing is perfect. And they come down, they know exactly where they want to be. And they're shooting the ball without hesitation. To Turner. Down low Durant. No, oh, I missed a short one there. To Schroeder. Rebound comes down to Brooklyn. Here's Irving into the front court. The deficit now up to 13. To Schroeder. Marc Gasol. That's how it's done. He's four for four in the game. This type of game needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them giving each other high fives, that's because of the energy that was created from the pass. Pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game. Miles Turner has got two shots coming. For his career, 78% at the line. First one, count it. to convert on both free throws. Los Angeles has the basketball. Anthony Davis. Tough shooting. Only two for six after that make. Old school equals high percentage. To Turner. Durant throws it down. It's that easy, Ed. You never want to leave any doubt when attacking the rim. To Caldwell Pope. James. Jumper's good. AD, is he a new age big? Easy answer is yes. He is Mr. Versatility. He can do everything on both the offensive and the defensive end. He can fight the post, battle for position. He can protect the rim. Plus, if you switch, he can guard guards on the perimeter. That's what you love about AD. You need something, he has an answer for it. LBJ with it. To Davis. Stops it down with authority. You know, from a point guard perspective, one of the things that I learned when I played in the league was that the more I was willing to give the ball up, the harder other players were willing to run to their spots. The harder the bigs were running to the rim. The harder the three-point shooters were running to the three-point line because they knew they could be active recipients. And when they caught the ball, they knew exactly what to do with it. Yes, and the foul, and a chance at three coming up. So many times we get on the defender for quote-unquote letting the offensive player score on an and one. 
Sometimes there's a lucky bounce, but more often than not, it's the offensive player who makes the play happen despite the defender's best intentions. LeBron James at the line for a chance at a three-point play. Hasn't missed yet. Off the mark on his free throw. Danny Green to Durant. Great defense there, forcing the pickup. The fade away burns him for the basket. There you go, finally. Your shot. Into the front court. They lead it by 14. Easy pass to the rim. When the ball's in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. Kevin Durant has it. To Turner. They'll get it to Durant. Turns and slams it down. He's been a one-man show, but Jay, they're still down in this one. He's their lone bright star, their only star tonight. Some other of the supporting cast members really need to step up. And a bad pass as it's taken away by the Nets. You go back to the principles, things that we started working on when we were in first and second grade. It's called the shell drill. You stay down in the stance defensively, you try to deny the next pass away, and you have to communicate. If your conditioning is bad, you have no chance. But if you're able to do all these things together, collectively, you will be able to stop a great passing team. Here's Durant for two. And the Lakers have the rebound. To Davis. Danny Green snatching it out of the air. Here's one of the biggest secrets as we move into this new age of basketball, especially in the draft room. You have to draft players with size and length. That's the biggest deterrent for any team offensively. LeBron with it up top. His guy's holding a big lead. Count the bucket for two. He's been doing this for years, the physicality in which he plays. No one wants to see that. You're going to leave the game with black and blue marks all over your body. Anthony Davis with a piece. Time to adjust. Both coaches making changes on the floor. Los Angeles, they have it. Two minutes left in the third. Not that time. Kyle Kuzma able to recover with the block. Oh, he blocked that with authority. Caldwell Pope. Durant across the timeline. Down a bundle. Stuffs it down with authority. It's a problem in this league when people are dunking the ball like a tennis ball. That's how quick the ball went through the net. To Kyle Kuzma. Just not going down. Your contest was great because of your proximity to the player. You forced his follow through to be cut short, which made him short arm the shot. To Durant. Danny Green. Oh, nice find for the basket. And, Ed, here's my offensive theory. More touches, more points. This is a fast-paced league. Either the coaches adapt, or you'll be left behind. Kevin Durant ah, tips it. Just incredible timing on that swap. And a flash. Scores at the rim. Did you see the way that dribble freed him up? It created so much space. I did, but the defender didn't. Lakers ball. to Caldwell Pope. Beyond the arc for three. Won't go down. On the follow. Way to stay with it. And the true test of a team's character is how they respond when they get hit in the mouth. Keep digging. Montrez Harrell swats it. Don't stare him down like that afterwards.
Won't go. Three quarters down. So far, it's been all Lakers. It'll be Lakers ball as we begin the fourth quarter. And if they were looking good at halftime, Jay, they're really looking good now. They really turned up that intensity in the third quarter. They were looking to put this game out of reach, and they've come out close to doing it. It's Brooklyn's ball. Durant. It's no good. Shots not going down. And that'll be out of bounds. Last touch by Durant. Across midcourt, it's Schroeder. His guys hold a commanding lead. Deep right corner, Matthews to Schroeder. 4-3. Another shot. Look out. Anthony Davis with the slam. Brow down, Ed, when you come into my town. Wow, you rhyming right there? Obviously. In the first half, I can't tell you how many times he got hit. Now so far in the second, he's the one initiating contact and carving out great space down below. LeBron into the front court. He'll run the offense. And finishes strong. At this point, if it continues, it just may be good night, Irene. And some, ooh, I like that Irene line. There you go, Jay. And sometimes as a player on a defensive end, Ed, you need to draw a line in the sand. You have to find a way to change the narrative because right now the constant theme has been too many easy buckets. Jay, don't deny it. You're an old soul at heart. Yeah, I still don't know who Irene is. Though. Me neither. Oh. I can't miss those to James. Nothing going here on that drive. Schroeder to James. Let's it fly from long range. That no good off the mark. Tough looking shot there. Still gets it to go down. You know, it reminds me out of a story a legendary coach once told me. He said, if you ever get in a fight, you're not going to hit somebody with an open hand, correct? You'll probably break a finger. But if you hit somebody with a fist, what is that? That's five fingers working collectively together as one. That's how you deliver a knockout punch, and that's what we're seeing tonight. Matthews to James. Going to launch beyond the arc. He's not shy about shooting it from out there, but he misses this time. His scoring has definitely cooled off, but you have to give the defense some credit. They're denying him the ball and really making him work once he catches it. Lakers come up with it. Kuzma to James. To Matthews for three. That reach was just about a second off. He got his hand in there a little bit quicker. That would have been a steal. Just enough imbalance. Wesley Matthews is going to get three shots here. He's perfect from the line so far. Can't connect on the first free throw. Second of three is good.
Dinwiddie into the front court. His guy's down big. Oh, you can't do that. And you can't lunge like that. Coach is going to shift gears and adjust his matchups. And a whistle. Ah, his timing was a tad bit off. Takes it right at them and scores. You have to fill in there. Man, that may not have been a gimme, but that layup at the rim definitely chips away at the pride of the defense. Lakers at the controls right now. Schroeder to Davis. And look out! I know there's that old saying that says one man can't beat five, but we're watching one man carry four other players. His back has to be hurting. Another big-time finish. The drive, right to the basket, right through the heart of the defense. The layup is good. No doubt about where that one was headed. Here go, Here's Schroeder ball, with it, ball. looking to make something happen. Defense, making the ball carrier work. Oh, Jay, he commands the paint this time down. Underutilized, underutilized, underutilized. Am I getting my point across? Let's see more of that. Dean Whitty, here again, Schroeder. Anthony Davis! Reject! Oh, away! That one's in the 15th row! Huge denial! You know why? I don't see anybody on the defensive end standing up out of position. I see everybody squatted down, really active with their hands. That's the mentality that will lead you to where you want to go. Irving to Dean Whitty. Here's a chance from long range. Tough shot for Dinwiddie, no good. And look, sometimes you don't have it going every single night. Maybe utilize yourself as a decoy and get some teammates involved with your passing. Tough mate through traffic. Might have had an extra dribble or two there, but he got the shot again. Kyrie with the rock. To Durant. From the painted area, won't go down. Another follow, still no good. KD follows up with the putback slam. Woo, that's nasty right there. Schroeder to Davis. Over to the right side, Kyle Kuzma. Can't go down, smothering defense. Just because you're an elite shooter doesn't mean you need to shoot the ball every possession. Maybe give a head fake, crack into the defender, get to the free throw line, see the ball go in the hole. Schroeder to Davis. Mark Gasol. The defense is really going to have to start paying attention. He's five for five for the field. Ooh, shows like this separate the good players from the great ones. The good players, they have good first halves, and then they fade the black in the second. The great players, they just sustain that kind of dynamic energy throughout the entire ball game. Los Angeles has the basketball. Schroeder to Davis. Schroeder to Caldwell Pope. Oh, he had him there for a second. DeAndre Jordan, huge block. Blocking so many shots only gives your perimeter that much more confidence to really apply more pressure. Lakers down to four on the shot clock. Uh, he was smothered and still gets it to go down. Some players are just built to absorb the contact. He pretty much dusted that defender off like that was a bug at the park. Kyrie Irving lines it up for two. That's what you've come to expect. Your best players making baskets. Clearly not afraid of the spotlight here because that was not an easy look. Schroeder to Kyle Kuzma. Davis to Schroeder. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Off the iron. No good. Check right here. Oh, a nice step through to get to the basket. You normally don't see that, but that's the type of thing that keeps shooters in the league for a long time. Every once in a while, they venture into the paint. 
Schroeder to Davis. DeAndre Jordan with the block. This game is all about playing mind tricks on people. The offense is more worried about getting their shot blocked than they are about actually making the shot. Schroeder to Davis. Nice finish at the rim. Ooh, cool, calm, and collective. The three C's. His handles are effortless. To Turner. Durant. To Irving. it down from mid-range. Two points. Take them any way you can get them. Los Angeles. They have it. Schroeder to Kyle Kuzma. Davis. And he stays cold from deep as he misses another one. It's no good. Strong take. Bodies bouncing all around on that layup with the offense winning that battle. But if the defense keeps up that kind of pressure, good things are bound to happen. To Jordan. Oh, scary stuff from DeAndre Jordan. He's now shooting five for seven. And I have so much admiration for guys that continue to hunt their shot. They're playing the second half like it was the first five minutes of the ball game. Those natural-born leaders are guys that will consistently lead your team to the promised land. Gasol, good for two. Great footwork once again. Well, we got a chance to firsthand watch something be created. I think we just watched an epidemic of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it, and it ultimately led to the other team's demise. If that's an epidemic, sign me up. To Caldwell Pope. Count the basket. A lot of contact. No foul. He's been doing this for years, the physicality in which he plays. No one wants to see that. You're going to leave the game with black and blue marks all over your body. Count it. No and one. There was some contact there. There's some players out there that like the freedom of space, and then we have the anomalies. We have the players who feel comfortable being uncomfortable, and almost the physicality of the game centers them and puts them right on balance every time. To Kyle Kuzma. And scores at the basket. Great body control, Jay. He was a freight train down the lane. Hey, look. Pretty dudes can mix it up once in a while, too, I guess. Nets have it. Irving. Not that time. I don't know why he rushed that shot. He was wide open. Take your time. Gasol to Davis. Caldwell Pope to Schroeder. Shot clock winding down. Caldwell Pope. And he's fouled. Good play by the shooter. You know what? That's an even better play by the defender. I like the foul there. Send a message. Nothing easy. He's going to have to earn it now. And hits the first free throw. And he misses the second. Number 23, LeBron James. Off the mark. Only makes one of three. Lakers have it. Gasol. Tough matchup against Durant. Caldwell Pope to Gasol. Finishing inside the paint on that one. We're watching the clinic right now. We're watching basketball one-on-one. -on -one. Whoever this professor is, he needs to get paid top dollar. Durant to Irving. 
Driving right to the back. Oh, he sent that one to the third row. He was locked in. That was impressive. James can't connect. He was absolutely scoring at will in the first half. But now that the defense has picked up, don't try to do too much. Less is more. Durant to Irving. Oh, straight down the middle for two. You see the savvy players? They can create contact. They can throw their arms into you, even their bodies into you. And as soon as the refs blow the whistle once or twice and you become hesitant defensively, they got you right where they want you. Gets a look. Can't hit. Dinwiddie with the basketball. Down a bundle. Gets a shot up. Off the mark. Nice touch around the basket with the tip. It just seems like nobody can stop him but him. Once he's found his offensive swag, that boy's deadly. James matched up with Durant. To Gasol. Off the mark. Brooklyn secures the rebound. He wants it at the rim and scores. Attack mode isn't a switch that you can just turn on and off. He needs to do more of that. We need to see him penetrate, get into that lane, and create. LeBron James with the rock to Davis. Stuffs it down with authority. At this point, they're twisting in the wind. Were you looking for a response from me? Because I don't really know what else there is to even say. I mean, is this even a game? I mean, we should just start packing up and getting ready to go right now. Turner to Irving. To Durant. Shot clock's at five. Down to four. Kyrie lets it go. And the Lakers with the rebound. Just inside the arc. At the buzzer, the Lakers get the victory as they win this one in very convincing fashion. That'll wrap things up. For Jay Williams and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports. Here we go with the EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Lakers put together a nice win here today. They did it with blocks, and they did it with steals. More to the point, they did it with excellent defense. They committed to the grind and got rewarded as a result. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Los Angeles Lakers. It wasn't surprising to see this team on the losing end of this matchup. They weren't very good with their execution, and they suffered for it. Here are the guys who put up the most points for the Brooklyn Nets. Game track. Assists. The Los Angeles Lakers showed off the kind of team chemistry that coaches love to see from their players. The more they moved the ball, it showed how much they trust each other. In the end, they got to win, and it looked like they had a great time doing it. Player of the game. Here are the top plays from the game. 
number two. Look at what's coming up for the Los Angeles Lakers. That does it for us. On behalf of the rest of the crew, good night.